Yeah, I, I already used the Ice Cavern music in the Amorphis video. But this one's sort of wintry, right? I mean, it's got sleigh bells in it. Weapon of choice, Mjolnir, jewel wielded. Thor int shit. Mulgadu spent a lot of time flying back and forth trying to tackle you. Almost too much time, in fact. Ur tells you to attack when he lands, but hey, is he ever going to do that? The answer is no. He will keep flying around like this, forever, until you hit him. I know it seems more sensible to just keep dodging and wait for the man by himself, but trust me, it won't happen. Once he's on the ground, he's easier to deal with. He's got two attacks, and for this one, you have to roll. The timing isn't that strict on it, but you have to roll out of the way. If you just try to run, you're going to get hit. Second is his icy breath attack. This and the previous attack can be avoided by staying behind him. But if you're caught in it, again, you need to roll your way out, because otherwise he'll just keep turning to face you and you'll end up being hit twice. Okay, at the start of the battle he'll take off, and the most important thing here is that you get in and hit him right away. If you do that, he'll come back and land immediately afterwards. You don't have to worry about him sipping all over the place. And when he's on the ground, as I've said, best to try and stay behind him. However, he doesn't quite have the endurance of Percolet. I mean, I suppose he has more hit points than Percolet did, but he's also taking a lot more damage. And there's no swimming pool for him to hide in. And honestly, this is another boss where I think, even if he didn't care, just went all out offensive it didn't even try to avoid his attacks, he'd still die before you. So, short fight. Relatively. Relative to other games. I know I said the dragons are the most challenging bosses, and I realize that might ring a little false after this video, but just remember I am comparing them to this. We have made progress, folks. See you next time.